live. News 8 at 5 starts now. And coming up next here on News 8 at 5.30, a new way to get a good night's sleep. I'm Jocelyn Mementa. I'll tell you about a non-conventional way to get more sleep at night. That story just ahead in Health News. In health news, are you getting enough sleep? The lack of a good night rest plagues a lot of people, people of all ages. Yeah, News 8's health reporter Johnson Momenta on the scene with details of a less conventional method that could get you back to sleeping soundly. If you're among millions of Americans who can't get enough sleep, you should know that it could be the root of other health issues such as obesity. Relief can come in the form of unconventional and non-invasive therapy. I'm gonna do a little baseline. Insomnia led Myron Congdon to seek another alternative to taking sleep medication. Sometimes I would get up for a couple of hours and sometimes I would just simply stay awake and kind of toss around in bed. That would lead to three to four hours of sleep a night. The software is giving his central nervous system feedback. Now Myron is undergoing a mix of neuro and biofeedback. Let the background noise just be background. Training perfected by psychotherapist Ray Tattenbaum in West Hartford. Relaxation techniques, she says, can only go so far. Relaxation is good, however, what we really need is a balance. And most people are too tense to practice the relaxation exercises. This technology. He's creating a complete state of balance monitors the turbulence causing the imbalance in his central nervous system. What causes turbulence? Worry, aggravation, habits. That turbulence triggers an interruption. He's hearing an interruption and what he's feeling is a sense of well-being and relaxation. A feeling Myron was deprived of due to the lack of sleep. Fuzzy during the daytime at times, yawning uh, at times when you don't want to be yawning, when you're supposed to be paying attention to someone else. Weekly sessions have led to sleeping better. What I'm getting is going back to sleep much more often than I was able to before. With this technology, you sleep an hour longer and you return to sleep faster. Also part of the process, getting ready to go to sleep. Breathing patterns, what you watch, what you read before you go to sleep. The success rate for this training is about 75%. Ray Tattenbaum says it is effective for patients of all ages, including children. On the scene in West Hartford, Jocelyn Mementa, News 8.